Hello and welcome to Chapter 3A of the WordPress for Beginners 2015 tutorial series. In this video we will be going over the WordPress dashboard. In order to access the dashboard go to your website and click on the login link on the bottom left. Alternatively you can access the dashboard by adding in slash wp admin after your website URL. For example, if my domain is travelerblogger.com, I'll enter www.travelerblogger.com slash wp admin. Enter your username and password and then log in. When you log in, the dashboard is the first screen you'll see. The WordPress interface contains three sections the main navigation bar on the left, the quick access toolbar at the top, and the main work area. The main navigation bar on the left is the command center of your website. All of the content creation and administrative tasks will be performed from this navigation bar. Hovering over these items will reveal additional subpanels specific to the item you are hovering over. At the bottom of the navigation menu, you can opt for more screen estate by collapsing the menu. The quick access toolbar contains quick links to the most common tasks. Hovering over the WordPress icon will give you additional options, a link to the official WordPress website, documentation, support forms and provide feedback. Hovering over the name of your website will bring up the option to view the front end of your website. Depending on your WordPress installation, you may have plugins that need updating. Clicking this circular arrow icon will take you to the update page. Hovering over the comments icon will give you the option to view, approve or delete new comments. Hovering over the new button will give you options to create a new post, upload media, create a new page or add a new user. When you hover over your username on the right hand side, you're given the links to edit your profile or log out. If you are logged in, this quick access toolbar will always be at the top, whether you're at the back end or front end of your website, this can be turned off in your user profile settings. The options available on the toolbar will change depending on which section of the website you're on. Let's visit the front end of our website by hovering over the site name and then click on visit site. Notice how when you are at the front end, if you hover over your site name again, you have a new set of options available to you. If you are viewing a post, notice you have a new quick link in the top toolbar letting you edit the post you are currently viewing. To go back to the dashboard, hover over your site name and click dashboard. Just below the quick access toolbar there are two tabs, screen options and help. Screen options allow you to customize your workspace in relation to which page or section you are currently viewing. We are currently viewing the dashboard, therefore screen options will let you customize which modules are visible. Check and uncheck these boxes as desired. The help tab offers you guidance and a summary of what each module does. The content of this tab will also change depending on which section of the website you are viewing. The work area is where you'll create content and perform and refine other administrative tasks. When you first log into WordPress, you'll be greeted by a welcome message at the top, providing quick links for you to get started. You can customize your site, create content, view your website, manage widgets or menus, manage comments or learn more. You can close this module by clicking dismiss. The boxes on the dashboard are movable. Simply hover your mouse over the title bar of the panel, click and drag to rearrange. You can also collapse and expand these panels by clicking on the arrow on the right. In the dashboard are four panels. At a glance will display a summary of your site's content, number of posts, pages and comments. You're also able to see what version of WordPress and theme you are currently using. WordPress News is a panel containing links to the latest news and articles from popular WordPress sites. At the bottom there is a link to a featured WordPress plugin. The activity panel display the most recent posts and comments on your website. 
You can moderate comments from this panel by hovering over and clicking. You can approve or unapprove the comments. You can reply to the comments, edit the comments, mark it as spam or delete the comment. Quick Draft enables you to quickly create a post, very useful for noting down any ideas you may have and saving it as a draft. To make a Quick Draft, enter a title, add some content and click Save Draft. To access any recent drafts you have created, simply click the link at the bottom of the panel. Now that you're familiar with the WordPress dashboard, let's talk about the differences between posts and pages.